Hey guys, it's MD here. Just, uh, MD stands for Moondoggy. Hope you guys are having a good day, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, let's get right into this. So, what you're looking at here is actually a VET Thor calculator. Now, the what the tool is is actually a sort of weight, sort of, uh, forecast potential savings. So, like your growth of savings. And why I made that tool is um, to sort of start getting people in, in our community more oriented in terms of long term rather than short term. Um, specifically today, we've had a little a little bit of a dump and um, I saw quite a few people discouraged, uh, me, myself included, you know, after a successful mainnet launch, what happens? Everybody sells. Okay, yeah, um, no. So that kind of sucks. And so I made this sort of for myself as, as therapy to, give myself a way to actually see okay where where am I gonna be in 10 years and yeah I mean that's pretty much where, where, where we stand so let's get let's get into this little tool um, whoever has this link you can just open it in Google Sheets it'll it'll work you know just as fine as in, in Excel but um, yeah um, let's get into this so some of the notes that I put on the side here is that this is just for an idea, okay? And then there are assumptions in the formula, okay? And one of that is that this model does not take into account extra deposits, because obviously you can always increase your stack just by putting in more money. And it assumes a very steady growth. We know crypto is not steady at all. It's actually pretty hectic. But, you know, if you could try to average it out, then maybe you can get an idea. And so, again, I have to reiterate, this is not gospel. This is actually just a guess. Just to give you guys an idea of where you're going to be in 10 years, so that way you're not worried about what's happening to your stack right now and this week. Okay? Now, now let's get into the mechanics of this, okay? So... We're gonna start with these little plus signs that we have here, okay? Now, if you were to press this plus sign, this will actually show you the, the engine, sort of, under the hood of all the math that's going on on this portion here. So just to give you a quick little click, we're gonna go over this in a little bit later, but it'll, yeah, it'll just be later. Um, so for now, we're just gonna collapse that. And then here, right now, the way I have this design is it's supposed to give you a 10-year breakdown of your growth essentially and I do it really quick showing you the 10 years right out right up front rather than giving you a year after year after year after year so the example here is if we hit expand this you get actually you know you get the entire breakdown so uh, the five-year breakdown plus you know the other five years so this is year one year two year three year four year five so obviously people probably want to see you want to be able to quickly put in your variables and see where you're going to end up and then maybe later on get a little bit more granular so the way i designed it here is supposed to show you the 10 years up front where you're going to stand okay now in this region here Again, in or, instead of trying to expand everything, you can actually just look at your, you know, one year value, two year value of VET. So let's say it grows, you know, to 10 cents, then you can see it here rather than having to expand and seeing, okay, year five is going to hit 10 cents if these conditions are met. And so this is sort of like a really quick synopsis over what you're seeing essentially. So. This green area here is actually the area that you can edit. This is where the juicy stuff is, where you can actually start to, you know, take care of your stack. You know, in this case, I have a very simple 20,000 here just to show you. Or, you know, if the foundation decides to expand the rate that Thor is generated, you could actually edit it here in this area right here. And so below these two things are actually the values of those tokens so right now as, as i'm recording this we're at about two cents per vet and obviously we're like it's, we're starting to fall down but i just put this at less than a penny because that's sort of like my projected you can put whatever you want in this it's up to 100 percent you okay so this is basically this range here where you can actually put in the values and the amount of the generation and the amount of tokens that you own 
okay so in this case right now I've, you know in this model there's twenty thousand two cents each equals a value of about four hundred dollars okay now the real fun stuff okay and that is to the left is basically the modifiers this is the percent growth of the VET the value for your Thor and the Thor generation growth so instead of having to just pl plug in every single time you know Thor has goes up to 0 0.0006 you could just put a percentage and it'll actually go across this entire chart down here for your growth so it's actually pretty nifty pretty pretty cool and obviously very convenient because you get to see the 10 year breakdown right in front of your eyes you just have to plug in the numbers in this green area so to get a little bit more specific we're gonna go into the value growth for VET obviously when I put a variable in here or like just a number it will give me a you know it'll actually affect here and throughout here so let's say for example um, I hear a lot of people saying you know $10 ten dollars VET so I think you know maybe within ten years we might see ten dollar VET obviously that's up to speculation and that's you know all fine and dandy so let's put fifty percent growth to see what it does so as you can see this automatically updated everything we have ourselves three cents first year and then by the eighth year we have fifty one cents and then by year 10 it will actually be worth a dollar 15 so so at 50 percent growth it's only a dollar um which is kind of kind of satisfying i guess um just to get a little bit more granular with this as well this shows you this is sort of a, a reflection the same a mirror image of what's up here so it'll give you the per price breakdown just like it says it right here and then it'll give you the total value just like it shows right here and so right now obviously 50% is not enough if that w but let's say just just for haha's ha um in 10 years if that was the case and I did absolutely nothing with this stack and I just let it grow I would have $23,000 out of 400 which is not that bad obviously you know and you know some people might anticipate more out of their out of the stacks cuz you might have 200,000 but the point is you know just by doing this simple number right here I was able to see what that is in 10,000 so now I don't feel so bad that this is you know going down because obviously I think VET is worth a dollar and I think it will be worth a dollar probably within five years which which is half the time so if that's the case let's try instead 75 percent okay now we're at five dollars at ten years still not quite there but you know what this this is a good enough example to illustrate my point here which is four hundred dollars to one hundred thousand dollars okay so even those who you know like myself have small stacks you know we don't we don't have the privilege of owning X nodes and strength nodes you can still see that there will be value a lot of value and that there's nothing to worry about which is actually you know funnily enough what this song is called no worries which is partially why I selected it so now that we went over that okay we can actually go over now to the, to the juicy stuff. And this is where it gets very interesting. And the reason why it's very interesting is because we have no idea what Thor is going to be worth, okay? Before, when it first came out with, you know, barely any any volume on L Bank, it was worth four cents while VET is worth two cents. But now with the dump, it's starting to actually, you know, even out. But regardless of that, we have little hints of it being worth more than VET. With it, some people are saying there's no possible way, and I honestly think we won't know because of the relationship between, you know, it's not just like gas, where it just powers a network. It's also its own currency, which is nuts to me. Like I'm still trying to wrap my mind around that concept, and because of that, I think that it'll be interesting the relationship you'll have to try to play around with it to see what I mean when you make certain if you make it higher sometimes you actually lose money it's, it's the weirdest thing it really is but just for the sake of this we're gonna keep it nice and simple so the value growth of Thor means every single year we're it's gonna grow 10% okay so now right now obviously we know our Thor generation rate is here and this is the value of Thor so right now it's one like hundredth you know 
know, 0 0.001 of a penny right now. I just exaggerated it just because. But let's make it, you know, 10% growth. So while VET is growing at 75%, for whatever reason, whatever logic that you decide that is the case, obviously this is the, the beauty of this is to give you an idea. This will be growing 10% alongside it. So now one of the great things here is now from this value right here, 0 0.001, 10 years from now, it's gonna be 0 0.002. Ooh, big money, it almost doubled in 10 years. So play around with it, try it out, see what it, see what it does. Um, and then the last piece, and just as interesting as the Venn growth is the Thor generation, okay? So obviously we can't assume that the Thor generation rate is going to be the same at 0 .00042. Maybe you never know if it becomes high enough in demand that VET Foundation will actually create more tokens out of your out of the hard-earned VET that you have. And so you can actually control that from here. So the generation rate, let's do 25%, right? It grows to meet some sort of demand, whatever demand you might believe that is. Um, so before it was 00042, now it's 0039, almost 004. So now at this point, this has actually created, you know, more value throughout this entire thing. If we were to expand this, we would see it all here and then sort of have it a little snapshot, if you will, a little, a little, a little idea, and you know that's. But just to compare as well, let's see if I put this back to zero. As you can see, the bottom line doesn't affect it much. You'd have to see what kind of, uh, what kind of results would actually bring a lot, because it's 109,000. But if I do 25%, it's 109,000 still, because um, obviously this is so high that. Being able to buy back into VET won't do much. And that's actually part of this formula as well that we're going to get into. Now we're going to get into the math and like why why I believe this works. And, you know, hopefully I'll be able to explain it in a way where it actually makes sense. And you go, oh, OK, yeah, this math is reliable. So just in a little overview of the formula, basically what's happening is every single year you produce a certain amount of Thor, and then you use that Thor to buy back VET, which then increases your stack, which cr increases the Thor, and it goes on and goes on and goes on. So in this case right here, doing absolutely nothing and just using the Thor, you were able to increase your VET stack by 400. Woo, great, you know? And part of the reason why though is because this is so high here, 75% growth. Every single time you, you produce more Thor at this price here, guess what? It's, you know, <laughs> obviously you're gonna have a very expensive coin. You're not gonna be able to buy as many as you want. So if you were to actually edit this to like maybe a penny, let's say one penny. Okay, now the stack has grown 4,000. And obviously, do you see Thor being a penny? Some people think Thor will be even more than that VET. So it's possible. And obviously it went from 109,000 now to 130,000. But let's get into the math real quick that way, you know, because obviously you guys probably want to keep using this tool. Um, it's very exciting. It's pretty, pretty cool. Um, this is a little under the hood. It's pretty simple math, to be honest. It's basically taking this cell right here, takes the 20,000 VT, multiplies it by your, your generation rate. That gives you your daily value, 8.4. Boom, right there. Your monthly accumulation is 260. Obviously, you take the 8.4, you multiply by 30, 31, and then you have your that. And then you take the yearly accumulation, you take your 8.4, you, you multiply it by 365. There you go. You have 3,000 Thor, 3,066 Thor to be specific. But all these cells should be locked that way. It's doing the math for you. And all you're working on is this green area, is seeing where you stand, okay? Now, once you're done, with the 3,000 Thor, it's basically with the value of 0 0.01, that's $30.66 worth of Thor, okay? Now, at this point, this 30 can potentially get you, your potential buyback, 876 Ven, or VET rather, sorry about that. Now, this number here, and this is where the math gets a little bit more wonky, it's, it's basing off of the purchase price of your increase in value. 
So it's not pulling, so it's not saying this $30 can buy 876 based on this price. It's actually pulling it from the next price down. So that price, if you look at the, your little five year breakdown, this is year one or the next year, essentially, 75% growth of 0.02 is actually 0.035, close to, you know, literally in the middle between three and four cents. So that $30 will get you 876 VET at this price. Cause obviously you're starting the year, you're looking to, to maybe reinvest that and increase your stack. So, and this is where the subsequent years come in handy. Cause now your 20,000 turns into, it adds the 20,000 with your 876 right there. 20,876, okay? Now this is where this spot right here and each, each different year, okay? This spot is where you can actually add more VET. So let's say for example, up here in the top right, I wanna add 10%, that's 2000 about, more like 2087 you know, 0.6 technically, but just to keep things even, it's 2000. And then from there, it'll actually go through all the way down to the 10 year and it'll actually affect your bottom line. So now instead of 20,876, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna also expand it. I'm gonna buy 10, you know, 2000 more VT at this price, 035, and you know, your stack grows. Now, if you were to do this for maybe, you know, five years, 10%, that probably would actually affect your, give you an idea and affect your bottom line by a lot. We had 130,000 about, that probably would, would, would add a lot more, essentially. So same thing, you know, next year here, I might want to add another 10%, that's 22,300. And the list goes on and on, okay? Now, as you can see, this pretty much it's grayed out to show you that it's basically the same thing. It's basically, you know, your daily author accumulation. Now, instead of producing eight, I'm producing 12. Basically a mirror image, just showing you the updated, the updated things. Now the token ROI, the return on investment for the tokens, this is basically showing you how much money you're making back from this 48. So for example, this $48 is technically 6% from, of this 800, okay? And that's what that return on, on, on investment is. So that gives you an idea of that. Obviously, if you if you continue, you can see it goes lower and lower because the value of VET is outpacing the value for. Now, the next the next percentage spread here is the value growth. Okay, value growth here shows 100%. Why is that? That is because 400 and 800 literally is 100% more. If you took 100% of 400, that's another 400. And so your growth rate is actually 100%, which is kind of nuts. At 75% and you know 10, 10, 25, that is that is that's great. Actually, um, we're gonna go into why the value double per year in a second. But let's put this to zero. I believe that the reason why this is here is because of because that the, the the Thor generation rate is so high or who knows maybe not yeah no they didn't do anything look at that it's just kind of nuts for some reason yeah because you know the val between the, the value growth the value growth of this and the fact that you in, you know you you increase your stack by 10 percent gave you basically like a a hundred percent return so let's uh let's actually remove that 10 percent here and you know it's 83 percent growth which is still ridiculous because over time obviously that that leads to um you know doubling a double factor by a lot and you're gonna see this in, in, in a second what what i mean about that so for example this is basically where it gives you this this value right here so it'll tell you that in 0.87 years your value will double so we're almost already at 0.87 years and we're almost already double um so that means by the second year you know obviously let's do something that's a little makes a little bit more sense 24 percent okay 32 says in 2.27 years it will double and so if we were to do the second year and a little bit more you'll see that 768 is pretty close to double already so that's what that's there for and as you can see just playing around with all these different uh 
different little variables gives you it's, it's pretty it's pretty much a lot of fun definitely for sure um, I think that's pretty much covers everything you know once you guys get your your hands on it try it out why not right and uh, see where you stand obviously stay stay focused you know I encourage everybody who's in this to really focus on the long haul I know it can get very discouraging but ultimately especially with tools like these you can you can it can help you you know ma math does not lie and so you know do this as many times as you need every single time something changes every single time you think of something you know some sort of theory share it with the community you know get get involved obviously the more you know the, the less chance there is of you making a rash decision so I hope you know this was very informative obviously if this guy if I look like crazy I have no idea what I'm doing let me know you know obviously if there's ways to actually improve this you know leave a comment message me whatever you know whatever it is obviously we can if, if you have an idea or if you're a good programmer you can make this more user-friendly then I would I welcome it I'm a great designer I can make something up an awesome UI that if, you, if a person can program it I'm all ears so uh, and if you really think this is valuable I would be open to some donations to VET my stack is so tiny but I am a believer and you know I am a veteran I've been here since September 2017 last year September when it pumped and then when it fell and died and have been holding it since because I believe in the project and I know that this project has a lot of potential so you know again you know no worries that's that's the that's the big thing awesome song no worries shout outs to this person because they're uh <laughs> they make awesome music their uh their information will also be below so peace out